Hi Aquarius, welcome to your November 2017 astral update. It's Raina here. So Aquarius, this month in particular, but going uh, forward for the next 12 months, you have wonderful energy in your career sector, the 10th house, because Jupiter went in there in October in the sign of Scorpio. And now in November, you have the sun there. As the month begins, the sun is going to be there for three weeks. Venus goes into the sector on the 7th. Mercury is there the first week of the month. There's a new moon there. So at the time of the new moon on the 18th, there's going to be Venus in the 10th house and Jupiter. And these are two benefics. You know, these are two planets that bless us with their influence. So the new moon is a time uh, to plant seeds of intention. It's just wonderful for career matters. So as the month begins, the sun is in this sector and it's kind of making you a very pragmatic and ambitious. And on the fourth of the month, there is a full moon in Taurus. And this is your fourth house of home and family. So some kind of situation involving your mother or your family of origin in general may come to light. You may find something out. That means that you may have to do something along those lines. It can be a time when you find out that your house has been sold, if that if you had put it on the market. But something could come to light about your house, and so you have to deal with that. And on the seventh of the month, Mercury goes into your 11th house of hopes and wishes. Now you rule the 11th house. So I think it's pretty good juju that you have the sun going into this 11th house in, in Sagittarius on the 21st and Mercury is there earlier. Mercury can be about communication. It can be signing contracts. It, the 11th house can be long range goals. It's, it's the luckiest house. So if you've had this um, heart's desire, there could be something connected to that. Now, if you had some kind of real estate matter come to the fore at the time of the full moon, that may be somehow connected to this. You know, um, there may have been some kind of probate issues that were, you know, involved property that finally are settled. And then you are just uh, signing the documents. Um, maybe this was something that you had been hoping for for a long time. Saturn has been in this 11th house for the past two and a half years. And because you ruled this sector, Aquarius, this is particularly significant for you because Saturn is actually one of your rulers as well. Um, we always associate Saturn with Capricorn, but, uh, and you with Uranus, but you do have uh, Saturn as a co-ruler. And in the 11th house, it really grounds any kind of dreams that you have, the wildest of dreams, and can make them uh, ma made manifest in three dimensional reality. It's one thing to have dreams. It's another to put them into action and, and to have them come to fruition. And you may have done just that. So on the same day that Mercury goes into the 11th house, Venus goes into the 10th house of career. Venus in the 10th can give you a certain favor from the public because the 10th house is the public eye. It's um, your place in the world. So you can gain financially, you can gain in popularity at this time. And you look good to the people that employ you if you're employed by other people. And it's just a very good time for the law of attraction to come into play because Venus is all about attraction. It can also make your, your career just very stabilized and, and harmonious. 
Um, for the first week of the month, Venus is going to be in your ninth house, however, and Mars is there all month. The ninth house is the house of foreign travel, of the higher mind, so academia, of philosophy, and specifically, what is your life philosophy? How do you live? What is your uh, ethical or religious framework? So in terms of foreign travel that is connected to this house, with Mars there, you could be engaged in some kind of a vacation or tour of all kinds of countries or exploring one region uh, thoroughly. You could, with Venus there the first week, that can be that kind of uh, elegance or comfort that is, is indicative of somebody who's enjoying a luxurious trip of some sort. So it could, for some people, you could be um, definitely traveling for work and maybe like the first week of the month, it's, it's your time to just enjoy yourself and relax and have a vacation. And then you start working because then Venus goes into the 10th house. So pleasure becomes work, but it's really not work because you're enjoying being in a new environment and exploring. I think that's what I, I, I mean by Mars in the ninth house, kind of exploring new terrain. And as I say, as I said, you have a new moon on the 18th in the 10th house of career um, with Venus there and Jupiter there. That That's very auspicious for career matters. And this is the last full month of Saturn in that um, 11th house of hopes and wishes. The sun goes there on the 21st and then on the, the 22nd, Neptune turns direct in your second house of finances, but the money that you earn, Aquarius. So if you have had some kind of a rude awakening involving your budget or something like that, this would have been in the last few months since June when Neptune turned retrograde. Now at this time, it's time to be more idealistic and and maybe you had a wake up call and now you can be more in that manifesting phase where you're kind of visualizing what you want to attract and bringing it into fruition because this is an earth house the second house and with neptune there it allows you this ability to combine the spiritual with the material well, Aquarius, I think I've just about covered it for November. I hope you enjoyed this. If you'd like a private reading, please click on the link below. My website is rainamoonastrology.com. Take care. Bye.